Hey everybody, we are back. It is 2023. This is the first time we have been here since last year. So the last thing we did was we worked on this and we didn't put the rim joist on on the outside. But we're here early and there's more light coming in here than there usually is when we record in here. So I definitely wanted you to see it in a little bit better light. Maybe you can get a little bit better idea of what we're looking at. Now, we haven't done anything yet since we've been here. So, like, literally just got here. And so, there's things that need to be worked on right around here to make this all level. And make it to where we can start putting some floor in. This floor, this is the edge. And this is an extra piece, as you can see, a little strip. So, we're going to take this line back even over here, right? And then, these whatever's under these, these can move out of here. These are already floating in the air. So the new flooring or new sheet should go up under those. So I'll have to tear out that bottom board. But anyway, yeah, we're going to prep to get some sheeting down. Um, we got to do that in a few other places too. Find any nails that are sticking up in here. Ooh, I believe there's some right here. Yeah, there's a nail sticking up. There's nowhere to put the plywood over here. Because the plywood originally, the flooring went under the wall. So if you the old stuff's rotted out and gone then you don't have anywhere to set new plywood right here. If I set a sheet down, there's nothing to hit. That's what these were for, for the other repair work that was done before I got here. This gives it somewhere for the floor to sit, and so does that, a blocking. So anywhere that the plywood doesn't have anywhere to sit, this is fine because it's got the studs to sit between, which is normal. On the edges, you want to make sure there's somewhere to, for the plywood to hit. I might even put, I don't know if I will. I don't know if I will, but we might put blocking in between some more of this to make it look to uh, have it hit better in some better places but uh other than that yeah it'll be just cleaning this stuff up I and mean, we didn't finish sweeping and cleaning everything real perfect i need to get a rim joist on i, I think i know what's wrong with my back now since it's been a couple of months it can't be a disc out it's a sciatic nerve pinch or something or a sciatic nerve flare up and uh it hurts real bad and it's been going on for longer than it should be for like a couple of few months so i may be going into something called chronic sciatic nerve pain that's going to be terrible. Sciatic nerve has a name and it's Christina. Yeah. <laughs> She's my sciatic nerve. So, yeah. The last thing I ended on that other video, I, I, I just ripped this off the floor. This is that piece of plywood and all those screws that I just manhandled it out of the floor. There's nothing wrong with the floor under there. I mean, there's this is the original flooring materials, that particle board stuff. This is, you know, the redecked flooring. But there's, I don't know why this piece of plywood was there yet. There's no hole under here. So when we get this one out of the way, this floor will be getting ready to be prepped. We still got this gap we got to figure out. But we're going to put some kind of something in there. Oh, wow. Little, this could be a little footy punch. A little paw with a little... Maybe, maybe. Kind of looks like it. It's that flooring we got. Uh, I have a time lapse of us bringing that in. <laughs> all right yeah so that was the flooring and that was fun all that and one load in that vehicle it made it sag down oh, look. okay uh, the two by four that we put in across here this is to keep water from splashing in while we're not here um i did find the footage of me putting in some of this but they didn't make it into the videos um, this is that one side where it starts and you know it's good enough yeah same thing in here we got to break out some more old floor material and come back however far we're going to come back i'm not sure exactly where we're going to do that here and here's the same thing we got to get rid of some of the old and cut it back and put in a new piece here and some more uh, getting ready getting ready the window that we put in already still looking the same everything's still nice and solid but yeah that's what we're here to do today Just mess with some of this stuff <sighs> the dump around here ain't free it costs like a hundred something dollars to go dump so we're saving it all up for when we're going to do a big run and that's the outer rim joist we haven't put on yet so it'll sit here go across these spaces i gotta get these staples off here here and here and then it'll fall on this one i'll clean this up a little better make it a little straighter but then that'll be where it sits 
And looking from this side, you can see, I didn't get that screw all the way in, but I got a bunch of them in. That's just somewhere for that one to hit on, and that is glued also. That is liquid nailed and screwed on, so it's never, never coming off even if I took the screws off. Um, there's those boards and the blocking that we put in, what it looks like. See some of the screws shot all the way through the other side. Probably from the blocking, yeah, maybe. But, uh... Not the flattest thing in the world, but it's going to be good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see new wood goes way back there. It doesn't go all the way to the other beam. Now that it's nice and daylight, I can see all the way to the beam. And that one's got some blocking under it. Yeah, yeah, you can see how that looks and how that looks. And now we have a place to put the floor that's level right here. And this is where we're looking right, right here. You know, you know, I'm not no carpenter. Um, I'm just a guy, and uh, we're gonna make this happen one way or the other. Oh, they say you're gonna get rich or die trying. Well, we're gonna get it fixed or we're gonna die trying. <clears throat> and this nerve pain makes me feel like I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, it hurts. All right, that's the other fascia or rim joist we got on. It looks good. That's all looking good. The front door is all done up under there. I put an extra block just because of what I was doing. This thing is shot through a million times in every direction. I saw that off. Oh. This guy is starting to crack. So you see we're leaving new wood. We're going to start doing this on this side. There's nothing over here sagging but it was really rotted out like really bad so we went ahead and pulled it off it was very termite eating see the termite tunnels go all the way through it through the thickness of the wood so a lot of this had that on this outer board so we're gonna replace that and again it's not crucial crucial that i get this done right now because it's not harming anything in here yeah, those are termite channels see that's termite work Right now with my back hurting and the way we can't get out here like we like to, it is what it is. I wish I could do more. Uh, they say that the Lord doesn't give me more than, than you can handle. He definitely thinks I'm some sort of a badass. And where we tied it in over here, everything's looking good. Still need to break off some more of that and fix that up, but for the rest of it, yeah. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh, our neighbor's got a beautiful new fence going on up in the front too. It's awesome looking. It's a welded metal fence, so that's impressive considering they're encircling like eight to fifteen acres or something like that. We're gonna get one side for free. Yeah, they're gonna do their side up our side, so you get to see it soon. There'll be their fence going along here because their fence their property line is somewhere right through there we're not even 100 percent sure where it is but we're gonna find out because there's gonna be a big old fence going down there just a little bit you don't need a i think i used the chainsaw Chainsaw, it is. Oh, all right. Ooh. Bring me my chainsaw. Yeah, put some juice in it. We're gonna clean up the toy. Not real straight right there. staples out of the way still got a couple of staples holding me up right here need to get those out of the way let's see about pounding that into place I touched the front of it a little bitty bit and there are blood sweat and tears going into this project
dokey. We shall see. Oh, I'm almost there. We can mess with next. Oh, Ooh, still real tight. Real tight. Look out, but I can hammer it in. That's what I want. Good and tight. It's gonna make it. So actually, if I do it like this, it won't work better. Yeah, that popped right into place. I didn't cut all the way through for whatever reason. Hitting, 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 hitting flat everywhere. I mean, that's just good enough, you guys. That's the old floor. That's the one by four. We got a gap. We'll address that. We can fill it with foam or something, or wood or something. Actually, yeah, we might do wood. A little strip of material. Anyway, let's get this thing screwed in. We'll have us a new floor to work on. So, because of the way I figured out, I'm going to put the decking, the plywood down. I'm going to run the seam this away. So, it'll come out four foot this away, okay? Because we have a full sheet, and then it'll go across, and then it'll be a seam, and then the other chunk will go over here. Since there's going to be a seam, I'm going to have blocking in between for the seam, right? Then I need some blocking out here, because where I put my plywood right here, sure, it can span this, but there isn't anything right here. So, if you put your weight down, you might be able to feel a little flexing. So I'm going to put a block across all of these, however, whichever one fits in there. And uh, make it tighter so that everything sits on something, right? You see what I'm getting at? The plywood will sit flat on everything. So I have a whole bunch of little blocks to put in. I can just measure them up and cut them up. So I'm going to try to install all of these. And uh, I guess you'll see what that looks like here in a second. Just so, so that everything kind of, nothing hits nothing, right? But yet, it's going to give it the support we're looking for. That's a screw, isn't it? Make sure it's not coming out the front. These things are long. Got the liquid nails. Probably didn't really need it, but I wanted it to aid in having a squeakless floor or squeaky less. Put some glue on it. And just to add some oomph to it all. nails and myself to the trailer.
some liquid nails on the wood over here and here, and then I slid it onto it because it wasn't working to put it on the ends of that of the board itself, and then put it in place. It would just smear it around. It looks like I got a little bit better contact, maybe. Thing is, I got it set a certain height, and it tries to up and down while you're trying to screw it. Makes it hard. Two screws, start it, and then rip it up. A little bit of glue, a whole lot of screws. Hey, Bobby. How you doing? You scared shit out of me, boy. Hey there, buddy. Hi. Where's your daddy? Was you smelling my McDonald's? Sit. Let's see. Where do you belong? Be good. Be good. Let's see. Sit. Good boy. You want chicken nugget? Come here. Let me get you chicken nugget. On there. Chainsaw. Chainsaw. Or the other thing. It's probably this stuff. See two layers of that and this. This is really thick actually. So it's got to be that. There's two layers under this. One's a little thinner than the other. So we have to come back in. We're going to come back in with just one. So there's going to be a little bit of a transition. Gotta figure that out. Cut this off. Do something. All right. This weight plate. This wood was already here. It's all right. I mean, it just didn't have enough. It had two nails in it on each side. Let me put some extra wood screws in it. take a peek with me real quick and we're gonna look we still got a little more cleanup to do around this edge under that edge yeah we're gonna clean that up some more but uh some of that we're not gonna worry about some of it we are this stuff i got blocked in all right so this is four feet out i'm gonna run the sheets long ways this away so there'll be a seam and i probably didn't even need all that blocking there but you know what i did it anyway 
And then I put glue in weird places. I mean, I was trying to, trying to make it happen, man. Glued and screwed and yeah, pieces on top of pieces. But it's all screwed together and shot through all the way. Don't too much matter. It's not going to flex a lot or anything. So we're still going to figure out this edge. We're coming up to this point right here, right? That's where we're trying to match up. As you can see, get in here, got to clean up. There's like a ledge and it looks gross. I need to cut that down with a chainsaw or the oscillating tool or something. I need another block over here too. I don't need, I want another block over there. And one right here, I believe. All right, so yeah, we're looking pretty decent at this point. I mean, it's, it's okay. It looks like it's gotten beat up all day, but it's all right. Try to beat all this out of there. Might come out hard, might come out easy. all the way through it I need to trim that back a little bit too so let me try that again I'll try to trim that up everybody thanks for stopping by have a wonderful 2023 and um, i'm sorry these videos are so long but there's just so much to put in them so we will be back shortly because i have plenty more to come thanks for being here